Good morning guys and welcome back to another video and cheers just remember you're the best person ever that was cheesy so today it's Saturday so I have a long brick workout my bike ride is four and a half hours so I'm just trying not to think about it I feel like I'm really starting to get into the peak of training and Mentally, it has definitely been more challenging as of late than it ever has throughout all of training so far. Every single workout is tough. Like none of them do I finish and I'm like, oh, I still feel pretty good. I feel exhausted after all of these workouts. I did a speed run on, was it Thursday? I think it was and I could like barely make it through the whole thing. It's, everything's just hard. That's that's where I'm at in training right now. And sorry, I didn't upload um, on Friday. You know, this past week, really the past two weeks, a lot has been going on with work and I'm like deep, deep into my work right now, but like in a good way, not a negative way or anything. And so, you know, sometimes it, it takes my focus away from, you know, putting together these videos, this and that, which in my mind, work is obviously more important than editing and putting together these videos. But yeah, moving forward, you know, I'm not gonna commit to two videos a week. It's a lot to put together these videos day in and day out. And I just have a lot of stuff going on with the real estate side of things that is requiring a lot of my attention right now because I'm wanting to grow and expand and do a lot of new things in that space. And so it's taken my attention away from, you know, sitting down and editing these videos, which is not a priority to me. This is just an extra added bonus, I'll be honest. But I do enjoy making these and I do enjoy putting videos on this channel. So, you know, some weeks you guys may get two videos, some weeks you may just get one. Anyways, but I am making these videos still each week. I committed to myself that I would do it each week until training, until the race. So, and then we'll see what happens after that. But yeah, having my morning cup of coffee and then getting dressed, I gotta stretch, get my nutrition ready. I still gotta take my bike off the trainer, but I'm not even gonna film that. I just wanna do it really quick. And then we are getting outside on a long bike ride. I'm only gonna take this camera. I'm not gonna take my other camera that I usually attach to my bike. Again, today, I honestly, throughout this whole bike ride, I'm listening to a podcast around real, some real estate stuff. I just have a lot of learning to do in a specific area uh, of real estate that I'm trying to break into right now. Um, so I just wanna focus on the ride, focus on honestly learning throughout this ride. <sighs> Let me finish having a relaxing morning. I'll finish getting dressed, get my bike off the trainer, and then get outside for this long ass bike ride. Guys, you should be proud of me. I figured out how the water bottle is actually supposed to be on here. This straw does not go in here, which is how I had it for my first ride. It actually goes in here, and then you have this little extension to drink out of which is why I didn't have this extension on last time, which is why I couldn't reach the straw. Slowly learning, and I got my glasses this time. So, should be better, should be better today. This camera actually fits in this little storage pocket I have on the bike, so this is kind of nice. Maybe I can film from this way. All right, and we are officially underway. Four hours, 30 minutes. I'm gonna start off by probably doing about two laps in Central Park just to warm up and then I will head over into Jersey to do the Palisade like I did what like two weeks ago except today I have nice weather and it's not as cold so hopefully my feet won't be freezing this brakes didn't sound nice so I'll see you in the park Now on the west side highway headed north 
towards the George Washington Bridge. This is the last time I was out here. Hopefully you can hear me. I don't have a mic on, so it might be a little windy. But the last time I was doing this ride was in that damn storm. So this is nice. Uh, you know, I was really hesitant about getting on this bike for this long ride this morning. But now that I'm out here, it's not as bad. It's never as bad as you think it's gonna be. Look at that view. It doesn't get much better than that. It's so pretty. I love seeing all the greenery and the trees blooming now. What a day. Just made it to the George Washington Bridge. So crossing over now into Jersey. I don't know if you can see the city skyline or not. Maybe not. But pretty good ride so far. I'm an hour and 18 minutes in. Feeling pretty good. My legs were tight at first. But feeling a lot better now. Honestly, just enjoying this ride. Listening to a podcast. And cruising. Uh, I just finished a, about a half mile climb. Oh, that sucked. Oh, I'm beat. My legs are struggling right now. I am just over two two hours in. I've gone about 28 miles. It's a lot warmer than I thought it was going to be. I don't need this jacket anymore. But that's all right. I'm just going to call it heat training to get my body used to training while sweating. Also, my headphones are about to die, I think. That means I have two and a half hours without headphones coming up. So that's just going to be great. It's good practice for race day, I guess. All right. I am about halfway there. Well, I am halfway through the ride. And I am in the town of South Nyack, which is my first time ever riding up here. But it's a cute little town. It's nice getting out of the city, I will say. But just taking in a spring gel, spring energy gel. And then I am going to, I'm starting to head back. This little spot, this is like a little bike stop for a lot of riders that ride up here. And you can get snacks, drinks, and just kind of hang out. But I don't have time to do that. So I'm just going to take this in, start heading back. Mm, so good. I guess I'm in, it's called Piermont, New Jersey. But it's so pretty, I'm like right by the water. I don't know if you can see. But some of these houses are so nice. There's cute little like cottage houses. This is such a nice little town. This is one thing that's cool about cycling in general. It's just like getting out of the city and being able to see some of these places. Cause I mean, I don't have a car. So the only way I can really get out here is for one, if I took an Uber or two, if I ride my bike. So I love riding my bike. This is so nice, yeah look, right by the water. You would have no idea that I'm like right outside of New York City. This is amazing. What a day, look at that one. Obviously I'm obsessed with real estate, so the fact that I'm not only getting my workout in, but I'm also getting a look at some cool real estate is an added bonus. was fun hit about 40 miles an hour on that downhill I think that's the fastest I've gone today Whew. all right three hours and 22 minutes in we're just slowly slowly getting through it but headed back 
All right, finally back into Manhattan. I have about 25 minutes left in this ride, so I'm on the home stretch. Not sure if I'm gonna make it home in time, but we're just gonna keep this ride going till we hit home, so let's see how long that takes. Let's see if I either hit the 430 mark or maybe go a little bit over. But feeling good, primarily because I know I'm almost done. I just passed a hot dog stand and it smelled so good. I can't wait to eat a meal after this workout. You know, gels and everything are fine, but there's nothing like a meal after one of these long ones. Ride is officially complete. We stop it. Oh, my back. It's one thing in my back that I get used to being in arrow position for a long time. But total stats was 20, almost 2,300 calories burned, four hours, 39 minutes, 66.19 miles. Not too shabby. Oh, it feels weird to walk. It's gonna feel even more weird to go on this run. My ass hurts too, though. Good ride. Uh, it feels good to get that one done. I haven't completed a long ride like that in a while. I'm gonna go upstairs changing to my running shoes and then got to get out the door because I don't have too much longer till we have to go to a friend's going away party. Officially off on the run, 20 minutes. My legs actually don't feel too bad right now, which is good, but we'll see how I'm feeling in just a few. What I'm most excited for after this run is Chick-fil-A. Barry just ordered some, so I'm hoping that it will be there when I get home. That'll be a great treat at the end of this. <sighs> right off the bike complete. Man, I'm done. 7.44 average pace. I think it said 2.48. I can't read numbers right now, but workout complete. What is that like? Five hour, five hour workout. Just another way to start the weekend. Now I'm headed to Duncan. I gotta get a coffee so I can survive the rest of the day. And then hopefully when I get home, the Chick-fil-A will be there. Now this is a sight to see when I walk in the door. Can't wait to pound this when I get out of the shower. I'm so excited. <laughs> well, good morning, guys. It is a little past 7 a.m., and I'm definitely struggling a little bit today. Yesterday, after that long brick workout, I obviously enjoyed that Chick fil A, but then I went to Brooklyn because my buddy Chase and his wife Danny had their going away party because they're moving down to Miami. So I ended up drinking a little bit more than. I was wanting to, so luckily I'm not hungover, which is good, but I'm just tired. I'm actually not as sore as I thought it was going to be either from that workout, but we'll see how my legs are feeling when I get out there on this run, because I have a two hour, 20 minute run this morning. I already ate, had some coffee, and now I'm just taking this little guy on a quick walk before I have to get out the door. You know, I'm not gonna push myself too hard. I'm gonna try to stay nice zone two the whole way, but I just gotta wake up a little bit more and uh, take him back upstairs, let him have some breakfast, and then I'll be out the door for this run. You wanna come on a run with me, bud? Are you gonna start running with me soon? One day I'll start taking him on runs. I think when he gets a little bit older, we'll do some short runs. We gotta get him training. This coming week is actually a big week for him because not only is he getting his first haircut, he needs it, he needs, he needs his summer cut. But also, it's time. He's losing his manly parts later this week, but I haven't told him yet, so 
That's why he's in such a good mood right now. You're not going to be in a good mood later this week. Poor guy. But it's got to happen. <sighs> All right. Well, time to go inside. Daddy's got to go on a run. And I am officially underway on this run. So yeah, two hours, 20 minutes. The goal will be between 17 to 18 miles, but we'll just have to see how I'm feeling throughout. Just gonna try to keep it nice zone two. I'm sure my legs are gonna feel heavy, but I got this. Hopefully it goes by quick. I had to take a quick break because the Triborough bike tour is happening where people ride like all five boroughs of Manhattan. Which is pretty cool, but the question is how long am I going to have to stand here and wait for them to go around? <laughs> Alright, I can't stand there and wait forever. I gotta find a shortcut to get under this road, but I think I know where to go. Because this is going to last a while. There's like thousands and thousands of bikers, and I don't have all morning. Good morning guys so i was just finishing the edit from this past weekend's video while i was trying to finish it and i was going through some of the clips from the run yesterday and i completely i guess during that after that last clip that you just saw i must have accidentally hit the setting on the the camera to do slow-mo only for the rest of the run and i didn't realize it so literally every clip that i filmed after this last one that you just saw is in slow motion and there's no sound so this is how the video is ending so that's just great but it was a good run overall yesterday I got 16 miles it was like 843 pace and yeah total time was two hours and 20 minutes I didn't hit you know the 17 to 18 miles that I was hoping to hit um, but you know, I really tried to slow it down and really keep it in zone two for that run yesterday. You know, the past couple of weeks, I've really kind of pushed it to the top of zone two, if not kind of on the fence of zone three throughout the runs. And I realized, you know, these workouts are getting really hard and really long and, you know, they're really starting to beat me up a little bit. So I'm definitely, I was starting to feel a little bit of a burnout, I guess you could say. So I'm really just making sure that if it says zone two, I'm staying in zone two. Like I'm not gonna push myself any harder because I, I don't wanna burn out and I still have like another, a little bit over two months left until Lake Placid. So now is not the time to get tired of training. And I want this to be enjoyable. I don't wanna hate every single workout that I have to do because I know I'm gonna be dead at the end of it. So anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed watching me suffer through another video <laughs> um but yeah happy monday because today is monday and i will see you guys in the next one